This here is the new version of the Cyber Shoes. Now, for all of you who don't know yet what these Cyber Shoes are, these allow you to walk in virtual reality. Now, Cyber Shoes, they had a very successful Kickstarter campaign. However, lots of people missed the Kickstarter, so they have now set up an Indiegogo campaign. Now, in this video, I'm going to answer the question, should you back the Cyber Shoes on Indiegogo? And what is the difference between the new version, the updated version of the Cyber Shoes, and the old version of the Cyber Shoes that I reviewed here on the channel. And this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and air as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so don't miss anything. This is the new version of the Cyber Shoes. And of course, you see them here on MRTV exclusively first. Now, for all of you who don't yet know what the Cyber Shoes are, let me first explain to you what these do. So this is a VR accessory. And well, it is all made for locomotion in VR. If you are not so satisfied with the locomotion options, and if you would prefer to really walk like you could probably do an omnidirectional treadmill, but you don't have the money or the space, then these could come in handy. So what you do, you strap them to your real shoes and you're sitting in a swivel chair and then you mimic some, some um, walking motion. And thanks to these rolls, your movements will be translated into virtual reality. But well, it is always more complicated to talk about it and explain it. Why don't we simply have a look? This is how it looks in the Indiegogo video from Kickstarter. Let's have a look now. The virtual world stretches the boundaries of our own reality. One of the limits we face when entering this world is movement. We wanted the experience to feel as real as possible, so we created Cyber Shoes. Cyber Shoes bring your feet back into the game, letting you navigate your games using your feet rather than your hands. Running from the comfort of your own chair lets you keep your normal seated position, but opens up a more natural way to trek the paths of your favorite games. We managed to keep the design as simple as possible while integrating inside tracking with analog movement detection. The shoes All right, so now you should have a better idea of what these do and how to use them. And if you think to yourself now, wow, that looks awkward, that looks strange, that looks even a bit funny or stupid, then I would say, yes, <laughs> you're right. That's exactly what I thought when I saw these videos of people using the cyber shoes first. But then I completely changed my mind when I actually tried them myself at Gamescom in Cologne. So when I tried them myself, I found that they are very intuitive to use. It does not feel awkward at all. And it makes the whole VR affair, affair more immersive than before. So I had to completely change my mind. And yeah, it is really much better than it actually looks like. Well, I received the, the prototype version of the Cyber Shoes. And uh, I made a review about these that you can watch here. So if you haven't yet watched my Cyber Shoes review of the prototypes, then absolutely do that now or after this video. And well, in this video, I will, I will kind of talk about what changed after uh, the prototype version, what changed with this new version of the Cyber Shoes. But first of all, I would like to talk about the new Indiegogo campaign. So the Kickstarter campaign was a massive success they have smashed their goal directly on the first day and they earned hundred thousands of dollars. So congratulations. But there were lots of people who missed that Kickstarter and well, who, who asked the team if they could probably do an Indiegogo campaign. And now the Indiegogo campaign is online and we're going to have a look at it now. All right, so here is the Indiegogo campaign of the Cyber Shoes. They've been online for a few days and they have already again smashed their goal of $30,000. They are now at $36,721. Congratulations, dear Cyber Shoes team. There's 18 days left. And let's see what uh, perks are still available. All right, so the first perk, the Cyber Shoes Gaming Station, is already gone right now. 99 out of 99 claimed. It was that for $269, you could get the Cyber Shoes Gaming Station, which is 
the uh, yeah the cyber shoes of course the carpet and this kind of swivel chair here and well 51 percent off that was actually quite a good deal i would say for all these things let's say what we can still have now what you guys can still have now for 259 dollars you can get the cyber shoes and the cyber carpet but not the swivel chair oh damn this is really crazy so 259 dollars plus shipping cyber shoes and cyber carpet five out of 99 claims so there you should still be able to get them let's have a look at the next one okay here's the cyber shoes gaming station again so it is the swivel chair and the shoes and the carpet for 269 dollars okay but everything here is written in japanese so i've heard that actually the cyber shoes sold very well in japan so that's why the cyber shoes team decided to also do this uh in in japanese but um yeah probably nobody knows that actually anyone can can go for for these not only japanese so if you are in the west probably because you're watching this video and if you want to still claim this first perk here for 269 get the the swivel chair get the carpet and get the shoes for 269 dollars you can still do so simply claim the japanese version here and you will get the swivel chair the carpet and the cyber shoes for 269 dollars and uh, i think that this is this is a pretty good deal for what you get 51 percent off then what else you can get the yeah the same thing but with a red swivel chair for 299 dollars and well it totally depends which one you like better the red one or the black one and then yeah if you want to have this two times you can have that as well for 499 dollars yeah and you can get the arcade station what is the arcade station let's have a look here the chair looks a bit different but they didn't really say what else what is that let's see cyber chair cyber carpet for arcades comes with a premium edge ag capisco chair okay the chair is different with a heavy metal base okay yeah i don't think that normal people will need this here i think People would go for the red normal share or the black one for $269 and you can still get it. Simply get, simply claim the Japanese version and then you'll be good. All right, so again, congratulations to the Cybershoes team for again smashing their goal. But now let's talk about the question, should you back the Cybershoes on Indiegogo? And to answer the question, I would say, well, it totally depends on you. If you are completely happy with the locomotion as it is right now by using your uh, controller, using your thumbstick, then I don't think you need to back the cyber shoes because you're already happy with the way the locomotion works uh, for your games right now with your controller. However, if you are somebody that would like to have more immersion, if you're probably somebody that always wanted to have one of these omnidirectional treadmills, but you simply don't have the space or the money, then I would say have a look at the cyber shoes because the experience is absolutely fantastic. It is really more immersive than if you would not use the cyber shoes. And I believe it's simply a good and cheap option if you do not have the money and the space to go for these omnidirectional treadmills. And I actually have heard some of my YouTube colleagues who said, that actually the the cyber shoes feel better than all of these omnidirectional treadmills that they have checked and well it's voodoo actually voodoo has has said that and yeah i actually believe him because i tried the cyber shoes and i really really like them so now you get the chance to get them for half the price normally it's going to be more like 500 dollars now you can get them for 269 dollars with that carpet that you will need and also with that nice swivel chair and of course with this version of the cyber shoes that i'm going to talk about more now so in my opinion if you're into an accessory that will give you more immersion then definitely want to go for them and also 
if you suffer from motion sickness in all these free locomotion games, then I would also say yes, go for the cyber shoes because using the cyber shoes can reduce that feeling of motion sickness because this time there won't be a disconnect between what you do in real life and what you do in the virtual world and the disconnect that you normally would have if you simply use the controller to move around in virtual reality. This disconnect is not there anymore and therefore you won't feel motion sick when you walk through the virtual worlds with the cyber shoes. So for people who want an omnidirectional treadmill but don't have the money and for those people who feel motion sickness easily, for those I would say yes, back the cyber shoes on Indiegogo. Now, would I use the cyber shoes for every single game now? I would say no, I would not. But for some games where I simply want to really walk through the, the worlds, like for example, Skyrim is a good example. For this game, I would use it, for example. But for games that will require you to actually, yeah, um, be very quick in your motions, like for example, Onwards and Pablo and all these games, I don't believe that this would give you an edge. This is more like if you simply want to feel more immersed into your game. So now let's talk about what is new with this new version here of the Cyber Shoes as compared to this old version of the Cyber Shoes. So let's compare them side by side. First of all, I can tell you that absolutely the build quality is much better. Let's have a look here at the old version. Here, as you can see, the port is here and it, it simply, it still looks like a prototype, right? But with the new version that the backers will get, this version here, you see the port here is much better built into the whole thing here. You have this nice LED and uh, here now you have a switch and this switch before it was built into the shoe here at a very strange position. So that is much better. Then also now what you can directly see here in the new version, you have this kind of grip lines here and you don't have these grip lines before. So now you can more easily um, like change the direction on that swivel chair and with the old ones probably yeah, it would have been uh, not so easy. You wouldn't have as much grip as you have with the new version of the Cyber Shoes. Then what else is new? Well, before you had some metal here. And well, with this metal, if you would like all the time scratch upon that, that, uh, that carpet, there might be some electro statics, which is of course nothing that you want to have. For the new version, there is no metal whatsoever anymore. And uh, yeah, now you won't have these electrostatics problems anymore with the new version of the Cyber Shoes. So definitely that is, that is really an improvement. Other than that, uh, we also have now uh, a better uh, software integration. Before I needed to download two pieces of software. Now you don't need two pieces anymore. And actually the software is integrated into Steam VR. So in your Steam VR status bar, you will now see the CyberShoes logo once these are connected and everything is more streamlined, which is definitely better as well. Also, they have implemented Z scaling. That scaling was very important because before you couldn't always reach everything that is on the ground in virtual reality. And the reason was that even though you were sitting, the software would tell SteamVR that you're actually 40 centimeters above. So it would still look as if you would be standing in virtual reality. But that means, um, yeah, you, you kind of like those 40 centimeters on the ground. And therefore you couldn't reach down and grab ammunition, for example, in some games that was lying on the floor. So that was a big problem. But with this Z scaling now, you can totally reach down and you can reach everything that's on the ground. And if you want to have a look at a video where I check this out on CS, you can check that video here. <laughs> All right, so yeah, lots of good improvements on um, the new version of the Cyber Shoes. Definitely a very cool accessory. And yeah, I like them a lot. And um, yeah, 
that's basically everything that I wanted to tell you. <laughs> so again, if you are in the market for an omnidirectional treadmill, for something that will give you more immersion in your locomotion, then I would say the Cyber Shoes are a really good option and I would back them on Indiegogo now. You can get them for half the price. And also, if you are a person that suffers from motion sickness in these free locomotion settings, then also I would say go and have a look at the Cyber Shoes. They would totally help you with that. If you are totally happy with your virtual reality gaming and uh, yeah, the free locomotion with with your stick as you do it normally works fine with you, I think then you're okay. All right, that's everything that I got for this video. If you enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.